This is EPFL Explore. EPFL Explore is a student-led space robotics association, part of the MAKE initiative at EPFL, the Swiss Federal Institute for Technology. This year, EPFL Explore counts 147 members, distributed among our three poles of the association. We have the Explore Rover Challenge. This is the poll that takes care of education and prepares our members for our main poll, the European Rover Challenge poll. This is where we build a rover and a drone to partake in the European Rover Challenge. And then third and last, we have our research poll. This is our poll for our more skilled engineers who develop advanced technological solutions that are later implemented on our rover and the drone. This year, our main and largest poll, the European Rover Challenge poll, counts 60 students who are headed by our vice president and project manager who oversees the entire project. Then we have our three system engineers, respectively for mechanics, software, and electronics. And then our nine technical subsystems. For mechanics, we have structure, the drilling subsystem, and the hardware handling device. Then for software, we have control station, navigation, and software handling device. And then we have our three standalone technical subsystems. These are electronics, science, that works on the science plan, and then drone. But in addition to our technical subsystems and technical roles, we also have a series of other roles that contribute to the project. We have the president, the chief financial officer, the chief logistics officer, and the communication and marketing team with the Chief of Communication. Throughout the year, this team has been working on the fourth iteration of our rover and second iteration of our drone. And we are proud to present Onyx, accompanied by his trusted companion, Dragonfly. Ever since the beginning of Explore, four years back, we have been partaking in the European Rover Challenge and have been achieving pretty satisfying goals every year. So why partake again? This is because the European Rover Challenge gives our engineers a sense of purpose, a common goal to work towards. They learn from past mistakes and improve the designs, always aiming for better. Also, Explore has a pretty high turnover rate, so it gives our new engineers the opportunity of experiencing the competition, the European Rover Challenge. There is nothing like that feeling of excitement and adrenaline of when you are at the competition, surrounded by like-minded people who motivate you and push you to do even better. This year, with Onyx and Dragonfly, we are really focusing on the autonomy of the systems as well as their modularity to make sure that the tasks cruise by very fast and that the maintainability of the rover is much easier compared to previous years. First off, for the electronics, we are keeping a lot of the old electronics in the rover, specifically the power supply and the main sensors board, because of their very good performance in the previous year. However, we have added additional safety features to most of the boards, as well as improved form factors for some of the PCBs. The ground station has been developed this year to show all the necessary uh, status of the rover such as the battery level or the active systems and it also shows the different subsystems and allows direct control of all the subsystems or autonomous uh, control of the different subsystems during the mission. Starting with the traverse task, our structure team have developed a new service module with new fully 3D printed 2D material wheels that are optimized for damping on uh, rocky terrain as well as having a large surface area enabling a good grip on sandy soil. Our rover is capable of moving forwards, backwards, going up and down slopes, as well as doing full 360 degrees around itself. Furthermore, using a LiDAR and an IMU, as well as a depth camera, our navigation team are able to fuse the data from these three sensors to locate the rover on the Mars yard, as well as to avoid obstacles and hopefully be able to accomplish a fully autonomous navigation. In case of an emergency during navigation or any other tasks involved in the rover, the whole system can be shut down directly via the red button on the service module. And thanks to our steering joints capable of doing multiple 360 degrees uh, around their shafts, we are able to implement a new crab steering mode that will help the robotic arm during the construction task for easily placing the blocks on the wall.
This year, we have also made a new 6DOF robotic arm with a custom-made cyclo cycloidal drive capable of uh, much higher payload payloads than before, as well as having a lightweight during the uh, thanks to the choice of materials such as carbon fiber and peak for the joints. It's equipped with a gripper made to handle a multitude of tools designed specifically for the different competition tasks. In order to manipulate the construction blocks, the probes, the rocks, the voltmeter, and the ethernet cable. Furthermore, for the maintenance task, we are keeping our AR tag detection algorithm for locating the objects on the maintenance panel, but we are adding new models to, that were trained to detect the metallic plate as well as the ethernet cable to make sure that their manipulation can also be done autonomously. For the surface sampling, a new shoveling tool is also being designed, as well as containers that are placed on the service module equipped with load cells in order to weigh the samples once they are collected. As for the deep sampling, a brand new drill has been designed capable of reaching depths a little over 30 centimeters. The drill is uh, surrounded by a transparent tube that will allow us to visually inspect the different layers collected during the drilling task, as well as a lid that's fitted with a load cell in which we can deposit the collected soil to weigh it. Finally, for the droning task, Dragonfly, the second iteration of our drone, is equipped with a stereo camera for altitude control, as well as the ability to detect air tags to be able to locate itself inside of the drone cage. Furthermore, we implemented a new uh, emergency landing protocol in case of a communications timeout with the drone. For our science plan this year, we are focusing on the construction theme of the competition and that is why we are attempting to create Martian concrete using the collected soil from the Mars here. This year, we, are we have been able to produce Martian blocks using only uh, Martian soil simulant as well as sulfur and we are currently going through the mechanical characterization of these blocks in order to strengthen our scientific report. As for the competition, we'll be using a uh, camera mounted on the rover with a microscope lens during the exploration task that will enable us to image the soil and gather information on the granularity and soil composition during that task.